after our first El Nino rains, generally good survivorship here of our lichen uh, transplants. Still uh, in early January here, still very pale in terms of the thalli coloration, but you can see, for example, right here, um, one of our transplants, it's still nice and, and well anchored if, even after several inches of rain. We have had a little bit of uh, mortality or loss. So for example, you can see uh, here's a guy that's good, 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 here's a guy that's good. But we have, but that guy down there, for example, has either completely fallen or partially torn away. So of course some mortality was to be expected, but generally things look quite good uh, out here at our lichen restoration experiment in our efforts to uh, begin to recover some of our Dudleya populations. We're at our site two here. Uh, definitely have some good clumps, some good guys that are pretty large. Um, but here's, for example, as an example of a of a mortality event of a guy. So this is not just a little thalli or two. This is this is um, the guy did come off, and you can see he's still um, attached to his to his rock. So I'll have to bring this guy back to lab. There's no way to reattach him out here in all the wet um, at this point. But that, this would be an example of an individual. He was probably, so here's some other guys we put up. He was probably somewhere right around this face and, and caved off, uh, slid off, or, or uh, the, the attachment wasn't ideal. So uh, that, that would be an example of a, of a poor attachment. And if we have a look, it looks like this was a guy that was relatively um, small rock attached. So for example, this guy, um, uh, you can see the Z spar a uh, little bit creeping out in the bottom here, but but um, this guy's a nice solid rock, big attachment. This guy was clearly, um, uh, I mean, not 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 knowing for sure, a lot of possible variables, but it seems pretty likely that this failure was due to um, a relatively low surface area of potential attachment. So here's a good example at our site number two of an individual that was still attached and an individual that has come off. And so, uh, so this one actually had a decent amount of rock here, but he still, um, still fell victim to erosion here in January of 2016. One hopeful sign for our lichen restoration efforts here in early January of 2016 is the fact that our guys, uh, uh, this little neblus right here that, that's attached, um, looks pretty pale, looks really uh, light green, not very robust, but if we look at our rock face here, and this is on our Malibu Hill site, where uh, we have a lot of lichen uh, thriving, one of our, our best sites in terms of Dudley, in terms of surviving the onslaught of the fire and subsequent drought. A um, lot of lichen here, and check it out. The lichen um, pigment is very similar to our guys. So we're a little bit worried. Um, earlier today when we were out checking all our stuff, that maybe these guys are a little too fried. I don't think so. I think uh, give it a few weeks with this water. I think the photosynthetic rates are going to pick right on up, and I think uh, our, our lichens are going to be fine. They're still affixed to the surface here in the restoration experience.